Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I've got a very special video. In today's video, we are diving into the Jumper T16. There are some videos out that show you how to flash your firmware and they show you doing it on the SD card. You don't have to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it through OpenTX because this guy runs OpenTX firmware, which is basically a open source firmware that even the FR Sky radios run. So I find that it's very important that I take the time to show you guys how to set this thing up. And not only are we just going to set it up, we are going to go through all the amazingness that this radio has to offer. But the very very first thing we need to do in this radio is we need to update our firmware. So I hope you guys are excited. Look for the uh, logo. That is your playlist logo. That is how you'll know that we are working on the T16. If you're interested in following along, follow along. If you just want to flash your radio, then let's go. What are we still talking for? Uh Pod. So right here on open-tx.org, you will see that all of the latest companions are here. I think every companion ever is actually on here. But the only one that you need is the newest one, and you'll notice right here where it says Jumper T16. And that is why this one is so important, is because it's actually compatible with the Jumper T16. So you will need to download the latest TX Companion, Open TX Companion, and that is a 2.3.5. I have already downloaded that and I have a video on how to download this. If you're interested, I will link that video down in the video description. So after you've downloaded the newest Open TX Companion, go ahead and open it up and then your screen will look like this. And what you gotta do at that point is then you need to plug in your radio. And it's very similar to the Tarant you will need this uh, mini B is the type of USB that this is and it's actually going to be USB A by mini B if you're not familiar I will drop a link down in the video description so you know where to get this so in order to connect our radio to go ahead and update the firmware and the bootloader we need to go ahead and use T4 and T1 hold those two together and take your finger and hold down the power button and then release you are going to enter this screen right here You'll get in this screen where it'll say Horus Bootloader and it'll say Write Firmware. When you're in this stage, that is when you are going to pop this and you are going to enter your mini B USB cord to the computer. Now that you have done that, you'll see up at the top, mine says Profile X9D, and that's because that, until now, was my main radio. Now that I'm gonna be running the Jumper T16, I'm gonna need to create a new profile. And that's gonna start by going to your settings, and then you're gonna see right here where it says Radio Profiles, and we are going to add a radio profile, and we wanna change the name of that profile to Jumper, T16. Feel free to give it a cool name, you know, call it the Mac Daddy, call it whatever you want. Once you've done that, then you're going to change your radio type. So once you've opened this up, go ahead and click on Jumper T16. That will get you here. Our menu language is going to stay English unless you speak something else. Now, what do we want to select here? We want to make sure that we select no heli unless you are flying helicopters. We want to make sure that we select Lua because I am going to use Lua scripts. Now, the most important thing here is right here where it says internal multi. And that is about your radio type. If you have the older T16 that has the module bay in the back, then you will not check this button. If you have the newer jumper, the new T16 that actually has an internal multi-protocol module inside of it, then you need to check this so that the radio knows. The next thing is uh, you can select an SD structure path. And for me, mine is going to be in the documents and the FPV folder. And then I'm gonna get into OpenTX and I'm gonna hit select folder. Now, I do this because I personally like to have my things very, very organized. You do not have to do this. Any of the guys that watch my videos know that we stay organized. Your backup folder, I'm not gonna pick one. If you need to pick one, go ahead and pick one. And I do not need to do anything else here. If I want to, I can go ahead and select offer to write the firmware to the transmitter after the download. If you'd like, go ahead and select that. Then you're gonna hit okay. So now that you have built your new firmware, it is time to go ahead and download it. So head up to file 
and then I want you to click download firmware. So we're gonna hit download firmware, it's gonna download, it's gonna wanna go right into here. It's a good idea to take a look at the file name, make sure that you see it, you recognize it, you're gonna know which one it is. If this is your first time flashing, then it really doesn't matter. As you'll see up here, I have it extremely organized, FPV, OpenTX, and that is what we are doing. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now after I save this firmware, do I want to write it to the radio? Well, believe it or not, the reason why she's asking me is because I checked that mark box that we talked about, that little check box, we checked it together. So now she's prompted and asked us, do we want to write the firmware to the radio? So guess what? We do not. Just kidding. Of course we do. So now it's going to go ahead and load the firmware that we just downloaded. We want to make sure that everything else looks good and it actually does. All right, pilot, so it looks like we just flashed our radio successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and demount the radio by unplugging it. And then once you unplug it, you'll see that you're in the Horus bootloader. And at that point, you want to go ahead and press exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning, Vario off. And what we'll do at this point is we'll go ahead and hold down the sys button and then we are going to, oops, I clicked in there and we are going to page over. And as you'll see here, we have updated the newest firmware. It is the 2.3.5 and that is the newest firmware. It just happened uh, on the date of January 15th, 2020. And that is phenomenal. And you'll notice here that our options are Crossfire, No Heli, the internal module, the multi-module, Lua, and Lua C, which is really cool because we set all of those things ourselves. So now you have updated the firmware on your radio. You are now rocking the latest firmware. All right, in order to update your SD card contents, it's a lot different. We do not want to put the radio inside of bootloader mode because we are not doing anything with the firmware. We are just trying to access the SD card. And you can do that by simply opening up the back of the radio and pulling out the SD card and then you can throw that in the computer and do it that way. You can also plug your radio in right now while you're on this regular screen and it's going to ask you what do you want to do? Do you want to do USB mass storage or do you want to use it as a joystick which is where you'll use this radio if you were going to use it for a sim or something like that if you wanted to play Velocidrone or lift off something like that that is what that setting is for. All right, pilot, so you'll see here in the bottom right, it says USB drive G has entered. And when I look here, I see the T16, which is drive H, which is super awesome. Now I wanna show you something. If I click on the T16 drive, I am into my firmware. Stay away from this folder. This is not what we're here for. We are here for the USB drive. All right, what we wanna do now is we wanna get the SD card contents. These actually are not that outdated. They were just done a few months ago, but I still wanna show you guys how to get the new ones. So on this page here, what you'll do is after you've already clicked here, it'll take you right here to the SD card contents for the new 2.3.5, and I'm gonna click that and that is gonna take you here. And once you get here is where you will need to download it and you need to make sure that you're selecting the correct radio for you. So right here you are gonna see OpenTX T16. That is the one that I'm gonna click. And of course we want the newest one. And for us the newest one of course is gonna be December because that would be the latest month in a year that is 2019. I'm gonna click that zip file here and you'll see that it'll start to download. All right, pilot, so now that that is done downloading, I'm gonna have you minimize this, and I want you to come in here, and we are gonna open our documents, open in a new window. When I get here, I'm gonna open FPV, and inside of FPV, there's something we need to do, pilots, and I'm sure you probably already know what that is, and that is we need to right-click, create a new folder, and we need to call this folder Jumper T16. How cool is that? We now have a new folder for this radio. So now inside of the Jumper T16, I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna create another folder and I'm gonna call that folder SD card T, ooh, I don't want all capitals, SD card T16. 
16. I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm gonna go back into the browser where I'm gonna open this up and you'll see our download here. I'm gonna hit show in folder and there it is right there. I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to extract all of these items and I'm gonna extract them over to the brand new folder that we just created inside of the Jumper T16 folder. And SD card, okay, okay. All right, so all that is being extracted. That happened pretty quick. It actually is a very slow process moving all this stuff over because there is a lot of information on the SD card. And there it is. I know you guys are excited. I am totally excited. Now, it looks like we have pretty much all the same stuff here, but there is something extra. There it is, radio models. Those are both folders that are on here that are not in our download. So what are we going to do? We are not going to delete this and then put this on. We are going to put a box over it and we are going to click and we are going to drag and we are going to carry it all over and just simply drop it into this drive. Now something is going to happen. Hopefully it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite and we will say yes, we want to overwrite these files because we don't want to have duplicates. This is a very long process so I will speed it up. Here it is, it's asking you right here, we wanna go ahead and hit re replace. The destination has 2,380 files with the same names. What do we wanna do? We want to replace them. That way we get all of the new files and if we already had that file, we can delete it with the new file all at the same time. That's better than trying to sort out files and figure out which ones I should have had and which ones I don't need. And all right, pilot, so we have successfully moved over all of our files. We've got our SD card contents onto the new radio. We already had SD card contents on here, but now we've got the latest and the greatest, and I am excited about that. So we are gonna go ahead and hold down system, and then let me get you in here. What we'll do now is we will page over to our SD card, and we'll go down to our sounds. And as you'll see here, we have all the different languages. We're gonna to go to English, and we're gonna play a couple and just make sure we're doing good. Echo mode on. Flight mode cruise. So we have lots of sounds on here. Some of them are cool, some of them are not, but we don't have everything. I want some good sounds. I want some funny sounds. I want some, some, some laughing sounds. I want some sad sounds. I want all of the sounds that this radio can offer to me. And the only way to do that is gonna be to go ahead and put the Amber Pack on. If you're not interested in that, that's okay. If you are interested, let's go ahead and set that up now. So what we'll do is we will go right back into how we were so we'll go back to our main screen and with the radio on and like this we will plug back in our cord and we're going to go back to a storage device and we're going to get that from this website right here and this is the open tx university and what you're going to do is you're going to click right here and this is going to take you to that download as you'll see it's downloading right there all right, pilots, so now that our download is complete, we will go ahead and hit show in folder. We'll double click that and then we need to extract that. Go ahead and hit extract and we're going to move this folder over to the FPV folder into the jumper T16. All right, and after that's been done, you can hit exit. And then what we need to do is we need to go to our documents, FPV jumper t16 and there's the new sound file so if we drop this down you'll see there's the two and we need to go back and let's take a quick peek what's in here looks like a lot more sounds than what we just had oh yeah i'm excited all right so we'll go back back and we can go ahead and drop that in there and now we gotta wait again. So now we have the new Amber Pack on our radio. We're gonna go ahead and demount the radio. All right, let's go ahead and see how we did. We'll go ahead and power down. I think I just heard her say off. Welcome to OpenTX. Oh. Switch warning. Oh. Stereo off. 
That sounds so much better. It sounds so, so much better. Let's go ahead and check it out. We can probably go in and delete these other languages as we don't need them. But if I head into English, you'll see right away, look at all this new stuff we have. What, what is this, for so? For so. Gosh, Amber sounds so much better than the stock sound. Acro. All fucked up. Oh, God, okay. And I want you guys to take note that I'm literally still in the A's. I got to go through the B's and the C's and the D. There is so many new sounds. We now have a brand new pack on here. It is called the Amber Pack. All right, pilots, so we have updated the firmware on this radio. We updated the SD card contents. And then just for fun, we got rid of that old sounds on here. We put on a hot new Amber Pack and it sounds great. I'm so happy. I hope you guys are excited about this new playlist. I hope you're ready to get your jumper t16 to the next level keep an eye out for that logo and i'll see you on the next one we will conquer all the oceans you can name oh, we